In our previous video about shared poses, we went over how to create a new shared pose database, populate it with poses, and use those poses when getting new auto poses. And Retargeter 5 and above, you now have the ability to actually directly influence the retargeting process with your shared poses, just as if they existed in your scene. I have a scene here in Maya with a performance loaded and a shared pose database is also loaded, as you can see here by the list of poses. This video is being made with the assumption that you understand the basics of how retargeting works and that you know how to create and load a shared pose database. If not, please check out our other videos and written tutorials. We're going to work with the math group for demonstration purposes. First, I'll go to the shared poses tab and make sure that all of the ones I want to use are checked on. In this case, it's all of them, so I'll just click check all. Next, I'm going to get two auto poses. The software requires two poses at its most basic level to retarget, so we'll grab two. Because we have shared poses enabled, they're already posed how they need to be, more or less, as you can see. The next thing we're going to do is go up to the advanced menu and click preferences. There's a new box here labeled use shared poses when retargeting. We'll check that on. If that box is off, then the shared poses will only be used when getting auto poses. We need to check it on to enable the new functionality. Hit OK. So normally, we'd get some more auto poses, retarget with those poses, see what the results are like, then get some more and repeat until we're happy with the resulting animation. With this new functionality, we're just going to hit retarget. So I've skipped forward about 30 seconds to spare you the actual time it takes to retarget, but as I scrub through here, you can see that with only two poses in the scene, keep in mind we're only looking at the mouth right now, the whole shot has been retargeted pretty well. This is because the software used the share poses as if they were in the scene. So now we're much further along in the process. We can check the animation, see where it's not good, manually add some more poses, and retarget again, doing so until the animation is finished, essentially mirroring the regular pose-based retargeter workflow, except that here we start with all these poses effectively already in the shot. When you're done, you can add any new poses you've created to the shared pose database as normal and move on to your next shot. This reduces the amount of poses you need to create each time and is very useful for working on multiple shots with the same rig and actor.